This is how my week went with my weight loss, with food, measurements, and fasting. Hi, I'm Tanya from Draw for the Giants. And it's my aim to inspire, equip, and encourage you if you're on your own weight loss journey, especially if you're over 35. So let's get straight in to the exciting stuff that's happened for me this week in my now fourth month on a constant coming down the scales of weight loss. So I've lost 15.2 kilos in the last four months and that is, I think that equates to 33.5 pounds. Isn't that like cool? Come with me and I'll show you exactly what 15 kilos looks like. I feel a bit, whew, I've picked that all up the three times trying to make that video. Really powerful and actually putting items in a bag or in a, in a container like that to measure how much body weight or how much fat that has come off a body. Uh, it's just, I can't believe it. Well, I do because it's happened to me. No wonder I feel good. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about measurements. I've just done mine. It's been a month since I last did it, and I kind of look forward to that. So I have them in my handy dandy notebook, and basically I've lost um, a little bit less than I would have last month. I think last month was a little bit more dramatic, but I've lost more weight this month than I did last month. So it kind of evens out quite nicely. So around my neck, I've lost a centimetre. Around my chest, I haven't lost anything um, from last month, so that stays the same. I've lost two and a half centimeters um, around my waist, and how much was it around my hips? Um, uh, half a centimeter, and also um, half a centimeter around my thighs, and my calves didn't change. But I've noticed seen, um, like all my clothes are just fitting so much nicer. In fact, the, the top that I'm wearing at the moment, it is uh, the same top I wore when I first started this process. So I'm just going to show you uh, my befores and afters because that would be really fun around about now. Okay, so this was me four months ago. Can you see the difference? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And this is me one month ago. And this is me now. Hey, I'm really pleased with the results. It's been really exciting to see everything come down in scale. So how am I making these changes? Um, eating one meal a day and uh, going from intermittent fasting and I found that that's really um, been really the key factor for me to naturally lose weight. It's actually been no effort. Um, Fasting is an incredible thing for your health. Um, I actually have made a companion video today that uh, talks about um, why I've done this and, and learning about intermittent fasting, so you're welcome to go and visit that. So I found that intermittent fasting for me is very simple and very easy. I do not feel that I'm depriving myself of any food. In fact, um, I'm able to eat anything, everything that I want. I've chosen to eat my meal every 23 hours which means that I am water fasting um, for the mid well practically all of the day and then I have a small window of an hour um, where I have what I want to eat I bought this small plate and that helped me just think about food in a, in a um, like less than way this has become normal for me I've learnt to eat to um, satisfaction I seem to be more attuned to uh, sensitivities, like I'm definitely gluten intolerant. This is what my weight has looked like this week on the graph that I use in my app, which is called Monitor Your Weight. See how it comes down 
constantly. Monitor your weight is actually quite cool. It lets me have the the um, daily averages and the weekly aver averages of what I'm losing, and it just keeps this a lovely visual of what I'm doing and giving me the fullness of what's actually going on and I really delight in looking at it on an almost daily basis. Speaking of daily, I actually weigh myself every morning. I, n I see how I'm going. So if I have a spike, I know why I've had a spike. So the other app I have is called Vora and that is a fasting app. That lets me know how well I'm doing with my fasting. I've only just downloaded it, so I've been using it for about four or five days. I don't know if I'll continue using it because I'm in the habit of doing what I'm doing. So with my commitment to myself that I'm not going to get hung up on the, the scales and what they say on a daily basis, I've actually been quite true to that. But in all honesty, you're always happy when you see it go down and you're not overly like thrilled to see it you know go up and um, that happens your body fluctuates every day my body has and but when I look at the whole picture if you can see here everything's just constant going straight down which is absolutely wonderful so I'm not trying to look at this as a big picture situation which definitely helps me this week I decided to do something a little bit different since now this is kind of my normal lifestyle. I decided that I would have a 72 hour fast. I didn't feel hungry at all for about, I don't know, for up to the first 50 hours and I thought that was really great. And I lost 2 kilos in, um, in that process and I made it to 69 hours. So I felt that I had done the lion's share of the fast. Now the reason why I did um, stop it at 69 is that I I was looking at oh what am I going to eat today and I started coming up with these different ideas of what I would eat and this is what I ate yesterday okay so we have uh, dal and we have the zucchini fritters they turned out really nice look at that so simple and we have roasted vegetables and I squirted lemon on it and feta at the end so yeah and that was such a delicious little dinner and i had my dessert and i just totally enjoyed myself but what i'm going to do for the rest of this week is i'm going to have 48 hour fast we ate around about one o'clock yesterday afternoon and it's now 20 to 7 the following day and i haven't felt any hunger pains at all all today and i'm going to eat again tomorrow at around about one or two o'clock in the afternoon and then I'm going to fast again for another 48 hours. So that was my week. It's been really fun to share this with you and I hope that you will get something out of it and if you have any questions please drop the line um, underneath and I will reply to you for sure. If you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing to my channel and live a little vicariously. Also check out my companion video where I share a little bit more of the talky talky stuff about what's going on behind the scenes. It's been really great to share this week with you and until next week you have a good one. I'm Tania from Drawful of Giants.